The race is on to develop solid-state batteries. Many startups and well-established battery manufacturers are trying to advance their technology in this field. Why is a solid-state battery considered to be a holy grail of the future of the batteries? When will it be available and is there an alternative to the solid-state battery that could be used right now? I think the answer is yes, and I think this answer is LTO. LTO is a lithium titanate oxide battery. This battery has major advantages over conventional lithium ion and MC chemistry, has properties comparable to those of a solid state battery. It is surprising that more airtime has not been given to lithium titanate batteries, considering that they have several crucial advantages over their competition. The main points of which are long lifespan, rapid charging, less risk of auto combustion and low risk of thermal runaway, operating better at low temperatures than their competitors. LTO technology is based on modified lithium-ion batteries and employs additional lithium titanate nanocrystals on the surface of its anode and instead of conventional carbon material that is used in normal lithium-ion batteries. As a result, the anode has a surface area around 100 square meters per gram, which is a quantum more than the 3 square meters per gram achieved when using conventional carbon material allowing electrons to enter and leave the anode far more quickly. As a result of this larger surface area, recharging of the LTO battery happens so much faster. These batteries can be safely charged between 6 and 10 minutes in contrast to the 8 hours required for other rechargeable batteries. Additionally, the recharge efficiency exceeds entire 98% much higher than conventional energy storage mechanisms. The improvements in the surface area of the battery drastically increases the LTO cell's general stability and further improves the LTO battery safety aspects. The higher level of safety of the LTO batteries is due to the lower operating voltage of this technology. The argument goes that as batteries are entirely free of carbon, they avoid thermal runaway or overheating which is the main cause of these fires in traditional energy storage. Low temperature performance due to the nanotechnology employed by LTO batteries. As a result, these batteries are able to obtain up to 80% of its full charge capacity at minus 30 degrees C. It should be noted that there is a disadvantage to the LTO batteries in that, that they have much lower inherent voltage, 2.4 volts per cell which leads to a lower energy density than the conventional lithium-ion battery technologies. However, the energy density of LTO batteries is still higher than lead-acid or nickel-cadmium batteries. Lithium titanate batteries are used in certain Japanese-only versions of Mitsubishi iMiv and Honda uses them in EV Neo electric bike as well as a fit EV. They are also used in some of the concept electric buses. Due to the high level of safety and recharge capabilities, LTO batteries also used in car audio application as well as mobile medical devices. LTO battery is also used in S Pen that comes with Samsung Galaxy Note 20. It is obvious that LTO technology has managed to trump conventional lithium-ion batteries on four key fronts, but as yet has not captured the attention or imagination of the public. It is definitely a technology to be watched, because it's not only may oust lithium-ion batteries from some of their applications, but it also may provide a significant new demand source for titanium miners.